biggest barriers to women uh, bettering themselves or getting to work or getting a, uh, a, a skill or, or a degree um, often comes from the barriers that prevent them from being able to do something on a um, daily basis at a specific time. And two of those biggest barriers, of course, are childcare and transportation. Uh, we know that anecdotally, and we also know that from numerous studies that have been done. So today is about addressing those issues and seeing what we uh, can do, what the real needs are, seeing what possibly we can do in the future from a state perspective to um, help make women, in particular, um, single moms. Uh, this is always near and dear to my, my life because I, I am a single mom and have been for um, some 18 years. Uh, but to, in particular, make sure women who um, who really want to do better for themselves, for their children, uh, have an opportunity to do that. You can rest assured, as the folks in attendance here today, that uh, Assemblywoman Gonzalez is at the forefront. Uh, she has tremendous empathy, as you've witnessed here today, uh, as, a, as a single mother, a mother of, of children, multiple children, and uh, she knows the hardship. Uh, and it's, uh, it's an area that's near and dear to all of us in the Assembly. I'm chair of the Labor and Employment Committee and I've seen uh, who is most uh, disparately impacted, uh, disproportionately impacted when it comes to accessing uh, health care, uh, a good paying job, and the ability to have sustainability in their life, and that's women, unfortunately. Uh, and in this era where uh, the rate of divorce is so significant that more, more and more women every year, every decade, are single and finding themselves with, uh, uh, as the loan provider in household, as a head of household, uh, we're finding women sinking into uh, the, the place of a greater level of poverty. And that's unfortunate because there's a growing uh, uh, divide between men and women to, in today's era. Women are becoming poorer, men are becoming wealthier, and that should not be happening in this era today. Uh, so we're looking to, uh, because we understand that that's happening, we're looking to make sure, uh, working as a team, that we're hearing from uh, the folks that we work for, that's all of you, and to make sure that we're taking your story, Sacramento. And so I see, I saw the heads nodding affirmative uh, when the, when our chairwoman asked, "Can we share your story?" Because your story will be shared with many members that couldn't make it here today, members from San Francisco, the Bay Area, from all parts of California that need to know that in the real world, folks are struggling, and they're struggling because there is a way of doing business that's not too sensitive to the working needs of of moms, particularly single moms. So I appreciate the courage that you all have, the opportunity to work on the select committee uh, with you, Madam Chairwoman, and count on me to work closely with our chairwoman uh, as to tackle these issues. Uh, they're critical if we want our households to be strong. And we know that women are head of household. Uh, so if you're not doing well, then California's not doing well. So we want to be there to back you up 100%.